once I get the uh, goggles on and all set up and grab the radio I went ahead and I switched over to fly-by-wire A uh, using a southbound heading again with this configuration I'm using OpenHD for my FPV system and in order to record or capture the video feed I have an Ethernet to USB cable going from the ground Pi station to my uh, Android phone and I'm using an application on the Android phone. At this point I'm just uh, slowly gaining altitude continuing my southbound heading. Currently there is no objective other than testing out the characteristics of the Pi HQ camera. Um, off in the distance there you can see a lake that I'm basically heading towards. Unlikely that I'll make it that far but uh, that's just the general direction and point where I figure I'll turn around if I get that distance. As per usual, right about this point uh, in this heading going towards this lake, this is when I start to get a video breakup. Um, the good thing is during this breakup you can still see that I have telemetry so I more or less can fly IFR um, in an essence of just using the telemetry. I have noticed that if I, if I adjust my heading slightly southwest, uh, usually after a couple of degrees the video will recover fairly, fairly quickly. While working through the static and slowly adjusting my heading to try and recover my image, again I'm flying using telemetry at this point, more or less an IFR approach, um, I heard my phone buzzing. Assuming my wife was sending me a text, uh, she knew I was out flying and that would be it. However, what I didn't realize at the time is that she was sending a text message which is actually part of a group text for an upcoming vacation we've got. So basically throughout the rest of this flight, unfortunately, You'll see the uh, group text messaging between my wife and her girlfriends determining on what to pack and uh, so on. Tired of uh, adjusting the heading and hoping for the video signal to return, I simply threw the aircraft into return to launch and uh, let the autopilot take over and bring the bird back home. Here, since I've got good video feed, I've decided to switch the aircraft into fly-by-wire A and uh, control D. Basically control the flight on the way back. As noted with Ardu Pilot, fly-by-wire A does add um, auto stabilization, so it it's, makes it even easier flying. Um, I can fly manual, but this makes uh, the flight so much more enjoyable and, and easier to handle. If you're new to OpenHD, what's great about it is it's highly customizable. Um, the on-screen display is great. The telemetry, the outputs are, are work fine. Uh, but you can adjust, remove, um, slide around, put things in any position on the screen that you like. Um, on this output, I don't have altitude. I've also removed longitude and latitude settings. On the screen I'm actually viewing, I can see all of those settings. Uh, this I've tried to limit some of the clutter for the, for the YouTube upload. Um, here I'm simply flying in fly-by-wire A mode and just kind of pointing the plane in the general direction following the little home icon up near the top showing me which way to head home. Again, as I'm flying, I'm using the goggles and not actually looking at my cell phone and seeing the capture that it's providing. Um, unbeknownst to myself, I 
didn't realize it was a group text, so my wife and her friends continued chatting back and forth. Here I'm adjusting the flight heading again, uh, going back towards that original lake, trying to get some full footage of the sunset that's happening, trying to pull it from both the left and right hand sides of the screen. It's kind of cool to point the aircraft in different directions utilizing the sun as your as your lighting or your back lighting. You can really see how the lens reacts differently to uh, where the, the light source comes from. Again, heading towards the lake and uh, trying a different altitude to see if I can actually get closer to the lake before the uh, static breakup happens. Yet, uh, the minute I level off, you can see the uh, static returns almost immediately. And as per usual, as long as I continue to adjust my flight heading more to a southeast versus a direct south heading, the uh, signal returns without issue. I'm not sure if there's something in that area that's actually blasting my signal or not. Uh, and again, I'm only using a, a, a pointed antenna. I'm not using an antenna tracker at this time. Again, more texting between the girls. Um, at this point, my signal is pretty crappy, so I continue to just keep adjusting my heading, and I eventually just watch the little house across the top of the compass. Uh, and once that's aligned up and centered, that tells me for sure that I'm actually pointing back towards the point of origin and heading home without having to use the return to launch feature.
listening to my cell phone vibrate every couple seconds. At this point, I knew the flight footage was a bust and the video capture would uh, be covered with text messaging. So wasn't too concerned about the video flight footage or anything cool. and just flew around trying to burn out, uh, burn off some battery usage. From here on out, you can enjoy the sunset and just uh, catch the remainder of the conversation and texting that my wife and her girlfriends had.